Hello and welcome to this new English lesson on Onowa channel. I hope it will help you learn more English. I wish you good and useful time. <music> Using tag questions is an important aspect of spoken English. And in our lesson today, we are going to try to answer the following questions. What are tag questions? Why do we use tag questions? How do we form tag questions? And how do we answer tag questions? أعزائي سيدور درسنا اليوم حول الأسئلة المذيلة وسنحاول الإجابة عن الأسئلة التالية ما هي الأسئلة المذيلة؟ لماذا نستخدمها؟ كيف نكونها؟ وكيف نجيب عنها؟ Let's get started Look, these are Yasmin and Samira. They are neighbors. Look, Yasmin is taking food to Samira's family because their mom is ill. Now, we're going to listen to the conversation between the two girls and try to notice the use of tag questions. أعزائي, سنستمع إلى حوار يدور بين Yasmin و Samira ونلاحظ كيف استخدمت الأسئلة المذيلة. Let's start together. Yasmin is taking food to the neighbors because their mom is ill. She knocked and the door opened. Yasmin, hi, I'm Yasmin, Samira. Oh, hello. You are staying opposite, aren't you? Yasmin, yes. And your name is Samira, isn't it? Samira, that's right. Please, come in. Yasmin, you've got four little brothers and sisters, haven't you? Samira, yes, that's right. Yasmin, my aunt says you are looking after everything and everybody. Samira, well, yes, at the moment. Yasmin, I expect you don't have much free time. Samira, no, not much. And that reminds me that I have to fetch the children from school. Yasmin, I can go with you and we can go on chatting. Can't we? Samira, great idea. Now, dear students, did you notice how the two girls used tag questions? You are living opposite, aren't you? You've got four sisters, haven't you? Your name is Samira, isn't it? We can go on chatting, can't we? These are all tag questions, but what are tag questions? Let's look together. Tag questions are short questions added on to the end of the statement. To tag something on means to add something on. So again, what is a tag question? A tag question is a mini question or a short question added on to the end of a statement. أعزائي, السؤال المذيل هو سؤال قصير يضاف إلى نهاية الجملة الخبرية. Let's have an example. Look, your name is Samira, isn't it? We have a statement. Your name is Samira. This is the statement. And look, this is the tag question. So the tag question is a mini question or a short question added on to the end of the statement. كما تلاحظون السؤال المذيل هو سؤال قصير يضاف إلى نهاية الجملة الخبرية. Now, 
Why do we use tag questions? Sometimes we use tag questions when we ask for confirmation or agreement. And in this case, the tag question means something like, am I right? Or do you agree? Look at this example. Your name is Samira, isn't it? Now, Yasmin knows that the girl's name is Samira, but she's not quite sure about that. She needs Samira's agreement or she needs Samira's confirmation. أعزائي في بعض الأحيان نستخدم السؤال المذيل لطلب الموافقة أو التأكيد وفي هذه الحالة يعطي السؤال المذيل معنى أليس كذلك؟ أو هل أنا على حق؟ أو هل توافقني الرأي؟ لاحظ Your name is Samira, isn't it? And in this type of questions, tag questions that ask for confirmation, the tag question has a rising intonation. Listen carefully. Your name is Samira, isn't it? Again, your name is Samira, isn't it? Okay. Now, sometimes we use tag questions when we comment on something or when we comment on a situation. And in this case, we don't expect a response. Again, when we comment on something and we don't really expect an answer. Now, notice this example. It wasn't an easy test, was it? And notice, in this type of tag question, when we use tag question, when we comment on something and we don't need a response, these questions have a falling intonation. Listen carefully. It wasn't an easy test, was it? Again, it wasn't an easy test, was it? أعزائي, أحيانا نستخدم السؤال المذيل للتعليق على شيء ما أو على موقف ما. وفي هذه الحالة لا نتوقع استجابة أو إجابة من المستمع. Now, we have more about tag questions, but after the break. Don't go away, stay with us. Dear students, welcome back. Now, let's try to see how do we form tag questions? Let's look at these examples together. You are busy, aren't you? Again, you are busy, aren't you? Notice, we have a positive statement and we have a negative tag question. And another one, look. They are watching TV, aren't they? Again, they are watching TV, aren't they? Again, notice we have a positive statement followed by a negative tag question. And another more example, luck. You have visited Jerusalem, haven't you? Again, you have visited Jerusalem, haven't you? Luck. Positive statement, negative tag question. Let's read this. You can drive a car, can't you? Again, you can drive a car, can't you? Next one. We must do some housework, mustn't we? Again, we must do some housework. Mustn't we? Again, notice a positive statement followed by a negative tag question. And you love chocolate, don't you? Again, you love chocolate, don't you? And this example, your parents went to Egypt last year. 
didn't they? Again, your parents went to Egypt last year, didn't they? Look, we have positive statement followed by negative tag question. You will see the match tomorrow, won't you? Again, you will see the match tomorrow, won't you? Positive statement followed by a negative tag question. And this, you aren't hungry, are you? Not as dear student, we have a negative statement. And look at the tag question, we have a positive tag question. And this example, you don't like spicy food, do you? Again, you don't like spicy food, do you? Look at the statement. Is it positive or negative? Of course, it is negative. And what about the tag question? It is affirmative or positive. And this. You have never seen a real lion, have you? Again, you have never seen a real lion, have you? Now, dear students, look at the sentence carefully. Look at the statement. Is it positive or negative? Hmm? Great. The sentence doesn't have not, but the sentence is still negative. Notice never negates the sentence. So, we have a negative sentence followed by a positive tag question. And next one, look, she isn't afraid of spiders, is she? Let's read it again. She isn't afraid of spiders, is she? Negative sentence followed by positive tag question and this example you won't go out will you again you won't go out will you negative statement and positive tag question and this example you didn't break it did you Let's read it again. You didn't break it, did you? Negative statement and positive tag question. Now, from all these examples, we can conclude that we have positive statement followed by negative tag question. It is called, this is a positive statement and it is followed by negative tag question. لاحظ عزيزي الطالب الجملة المثبتة يليها سؤال مذيل منفي. And negative statement is followed by a positive tag question. Let's notice the example here. You don't like it. This is the statement. It is negative. And let's look at the tag question. To you, it is positive. إذا أعزائي الجملة المنفية عادة ما يليها سؤال مذيل مثبت. إذا الجملة المثبتة يليها سؤال مذيل منفي والجملة المنفية يليها سؤال مذيل مثبت. Now let's move to another thing. How do we form tag questions? كيف نكون الأسئلة المذيلة؟ Now, we have a statement and we have a tag question as we said before. And the statement consists of subject and a verb. فاعل وفعل. Sometimes we have one part verb and in this case it is the main verb 
and sometimes the verb has more than one part. It has a helping verb and main verb. And the tag question, we have verb to be in the present, is or are, or in the past, was or were, or we have the helping verb. Then we have the subject pronoun. So the tag question is short. We have helping verb, then subject pronoun. But notice, don't use helping verb for present and past forms of verb to be. So, if we have verb to be in the present or in the past, we have is or are or was or were. In this case, we don't need a helping verb. We use verb to be. Now, look at this statement. You are coming. Now, we have you this is the subject we have the helping verb are and notice it is positive and we have the main verb لاحظ عزيزي الطالب لدينا you الفاعل ولدينا فعل مكون من جزئين are الفعل المساعد و coming الفعل الرئيسي now we are going to try to form a tag question we will begin with the subject. Subject pronoun. Now, notice, we have the subject pronoun at the beginning of the statement, and we put it here, but notice, the subject you begins with capital letter because it is at the beginning of the sentence, but here we have it small letter. Now, we need the helping verb. The helping verb is are. It is positive, but here we need it negative, so aren't. The question tag is, aren't you? Aren't you? لاحظ عزيزي الطالب, لدينا الفعل المساعد مخالفا للجملة الخبرية ولدينا ضمير الفاعل. Let's have another example. You don't like tea. You is the subject. Don't is the helping verb, and notice it is negative, and we have the main verb like. Then, فاعل فاعل مساعد فاعل أصلي. Let's try to form a tag question. We need. We'll begin with the subject pronoun. Subject pronoun, you. Notice it is a small letter here, and now we need the helping verb. It is negative here. We need it positive. So, what is the tag question? Do you? You don't like tea, do you? And let's have another example. He can't drive. He can't drive. Notice we have the subject at the beginning of the statement. He is the subject. We have a helping verb and log it is negative and we have the main verb drive إذا لدينا فعل فعل مساعد منفي فعل أصلي now let's try to form a tag question as we said before we will begin with the subject pronoun he log small letter and what do we need else Great, we need the helping verb, but here we have it negative and we need it here positive. So can't will be can. So he can't drive. Can he? Again, he can't drive. Can he? And let's move to another example. Today is cold. This is the statement. Today is the subject, is is the main verb, verb to be, called is a complementary. And notice we have the verb, positive verb. إذن لدينا فاعل, فاعل أصلي, لاحظ, verb to be, مثبت. Now let's try to form a tag question. As we said before, we will begin with, great with the subject pronoun. 
today is a thing and it is a singular. What subject pronoun can replace today? God. It. Now we need verb to be. Here we have it positive. We need it here negative. So, isn't it? Today is called, isn't it? Today is called, isn't it? Okay. Now, we have more about tag questions, but after the break. Don't go away, stay with us. Dear students, welcome back. Now, know these special cases. Look, I am right. Aren't I? Let's go, shall we? He never drinks milk, does he? So again, I'm right, aren't I? Let's go, shall we? He never drinks milk, does he? لاحظ عزيزي الطالب هناك حالات شاذة من الأسئلة المذيلة لاحظ I am right, aren't I? Let's go, shall we? He never drinks milk, does he? This sentence is negative. So, it needs a positive tag question. Never negates the sentence. Now, how do we answer tag questions? Let's see together. Okay. We answer tag questions according to the statement. You go to school, don't you? Let's see together how can we answer this tag question. لنلاحظ أعزائي كيف نجيب عن الأسئلة المذيلة. You go to school, don't you? Now, we have two options. If you agree, you say, yes, I do. And if you don't agree, you say, no, I don't. So again, you go to school, don't you? You can say, if you agree, you say, yes, I do. And if you don't agree, if you refuse, you say, no, I don't. So we answer tag questions according to the statement. Let's have another example. Now, how can we answer this tag question? You aren't from India, are you? Again, we have two options. If you agree, you say, no, I'm not. And if you refuse, you say, yes, I am. So again, you aren't from India. Are you? You can say, no, I'm not. Or, yes, I am. Now let's practice. It's time to practice. Let's see our first activity. Add tag question. We'll try together to form tag questions, okay? You have done your homework. Can you form a tag question? Good. We will begin with the subject pronoun, you, and then we need the helping verb. Here it is positive, so we need it in the tag question negative. So the answer is, you have done your homework. Haven't you? Next one. We will go to the seaside. Can you form a tag question? Great. We, we need the subject pronoun. And here is the helping verb. Well, it is affirmative or positive. So we need it in the negative form. So the answer is want. 
We will go to the seaside. Won't we? Good. Next one. People speak English in Canada. Now, try to form a tag question. Think with me. Great. People. Now, we want a subject pronoun to replace people. People. What is the answer? God. They. And here we have a verb in the present simple tense. We need a helping verb in the negative form. What is it? Great. Don't. People speak English in Canada. Don't they? Good. Next one. You have never been to London. Again, you've never been to London. Now, try to form a tag question. What is the answer? Great. Now, we need the subject pronoun here. And here is the helping verb. Remember, never negates the sentence. So, we need the helping verb in the positive form. You have never been to London. Have you? Good. Now, let's look at this statement and try to form a tag question. Ahmad has a car. And notice, has here is not a helping verb. It is a main verb. So, what is the answer? Now, first, we need a subject pronoun. What subject pronoun can replace Ahmad? Great. He. And has is the main verb here. It is a main verb. So, what is the helping verb? Doesn't he. Here we have it positive and here we need negative helping verb. Ahmad has a car. Doesn't he? Great. Now, let's look at this statement together and try to form a tag question. The earth is bigger than the moon. Now, try to form a tag question. As we said before, we need a subject pronoun. What subject pronoun can replace the word earth? Singular and it is a thing. Good. It. And now we have verb to be. We don't need a helping verb from outside. We can use it. It is positive and we need it negative in the question tag. So the answer is, the earth is bigger than the moon. Isn't it? Good. Now let's move to the next activity we are going to choose the correct answer. Let's begin with number one. Okay. My sister has never been to Egypt. Has she? Hasn't she? Or does she? Think with me. What is the correct tag question? Notice we have never. So the statement is negative. So, what is the right or the correct question? Great. My sister has never been to Egypt. Has she? Great. Now, let's move to number two. You are interested in wildlife documentaries. Let's see the options. Are you? Isn't he? Aren't you? We need a helping verb and a subject pronoun. What is the correct answer? Great. Aren't you? So, you are interested in wildlife documentaries. Aren't you? Sentence is affirmative or positive and we need a negative ta question. لدينا جملة مثبتة إذا 
نختار سؤال مذيل منفي Next one Whales are mammals Are they? Aren't they? Or do they? What is the correct answer? We need a tag of questions beginning with the helping verb then we need subject pronoun what is the correct answer think with me great the answer is aren't they whales are mammals aren't they now let's move to the next one number four cows don't eat meat they don't do they or don't they what is the correct tag question great the answer is do they cows don't eat meat do they we have helping verb and subject pronoun i guess this will bring us to the end of our lesson We've discussed tag questions. We learned that tag questions are short questions added on to the end of the statement. And sometimes we use them to ask for confirmation. And sometimes we use tag questions to comment on something. We learned how to form tag questions and how to answer tag questions. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.